1730 Nation media presentation you're about to see is a performance. Scientists have determined that the offensiveness of the content is most likely directly related to the blood alcohol concentration or level of impairment of each of your hosts. If you were to try to come in contact with your hosts in the real world, your experience would certainly be more subdued, probably more low-key, a little less intense, certainly less extreme, and less opinionated. Do not try this at home. The hosts of this production are skillfully trained performers. And remember, only the guests are real. All right, everybody, welcome. This is 1730 Nation. And uh, I am your host, the free agent demon, 1738. And we have the <laughs> devil himself, ah. DJ Ango. Yes, sir. And tonight, our unsuspecting sacrifice is Trevor North Soul. Hey. Of the band North Soul. Claps. For Trevor, everyone. Chip by people. Clap! Harder. Believe. Clap if you believe. No one's clapping. No one believes in you. I That's a great it. way to start it. I, the clap. I don't. No. That's just in the head. Yeah. Just they like might it. be clapping and we just don't know it. They might have yes. the clap and we just don't know. I may have the clap and just don't know. <laughs> it's rough. It's been a year. No, it's actually not that bad. It's just like antibiotics and then two weeks it's gone. Hmm. One of the easy ones. Or so they say. Yeah. Well, that's what I tell them. <laughs> so, what are you doing later? For the, uh, <laughs> they can't see that I felt your leg up, but hey, yeah. what are you doing later? They can't see the massive erection you're getting either. Um, and I can't either because you're having a fanny staff. pack on. Do you always have a fanny pack on? Generally, yeah. I think that's the next merch. Oh, for North Soul? Yeah. You get North Soul fanny packs? Yeah. I'm a big fanny pack. But I got so much stuff in here. And Why unlike the police In other words, it's like a giant wallet. Yeah. Why don't you okay. just get a satchel? Uh, I have Indiana one. Jones had a satchel. I got one satchel. Fanny packs are just even more convenient. They're just cooler? Yeah. And you can be like crossbody. Ooh. I was going to say, at first I thought that they're actually kind of silly, but a small one like that yeah. is actually that. I was going to say that they're like totally fucking gay, but like... Now that I see you having one and I want to blow you, I think I might be gay. Gay till you need your phone charger and a pen and well. Yeah, I just have pockets. That's weird. I don't always have pockets. Summertime's coming up. You know what else doesn't always have pockets? pockets? Girl pants. Yeah, that's a rip off. Do you just wear girl pants all the time? No. Cut to me in high school. No. Please, <laughs> please don't. Those are dark times. They bedazzled. No, I wore pink pleather uh, type pants. Nice. Yeah, I found them in like a St. Vinny's girl section. Yeah. Like five bucks. Could for pass it. Oh no, I couldn't. Not at all. I, I, do, I don't I get why people blazers. thought I was gay. I go to the women's blazer section. It's, they have the best like textures and patterns. I used to own one. I feel you on that. Actually, you want to want to hear something kind of interesting? No. Yeah. So, anyways, Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, the guy who uh, founded uh, oh, I don't Waldo. No, the one of the first uh, festivals. Uh, Woodstock. Jane's Addiction. Firefest. Uh, uh, Lollapalooza. Lollapalooza. Okay. Uh, he, he that's a uh, oh Perry Farrell. Okay. He uh, ha- has said that he has always shopped like in women's pantsuits. Because he's so thin, and because yeah, I have that problem. He too. can't find such unique fabrics and patterns. Yeah. As you would find in the women's section. Um, the blazer I wore for my wedding. A little bit, and then mm-hmm. boom. The so blazer yeah. I wore for my wedding was pretty fucking great. It was. Yeah. You can see it on the wall over there. There's pictures of me with my beautiful wife. That is beautiful. Talking about my wife, huh? She's killer. Dude, she actually is. Her dress was fucking amazing. My favorite is the one where you have that little head growing out of your shoulder. Troy looking like a bad 
little fucking okay. in the carousel there. He's a tiny little, kind of like in the uh, Men in Black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little growth. Yeah. Yeah, Troy's my little growth. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, no, the blazer is fucking great. So, you know what? You can find really good blazers if you just look hard enough in the men's section. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was pissed it, that they, they would not fucking sell me that. I was like, no, I'm not going to rent this. I want it. And they were like, no, for men's blazers, we only rent. And I was like, you can't just only rent. I have money. They're like, we know how awesome this blazer is. Yeah, yeah, no. And like, like uh, one of the guys there, uh, when I was getting to try it out, he was like, this is real. This will get attention. Like, I wore this to a party last week, and everyone loved it. And I'm like, yeah, I know. That's why I want to fucking buy it. And he was like, no, we I don't. I daily. Yeah, we don't fucking. I would. I fucking wear that all the time. I once said that if you wear uh, shoes every day the last a year, but if you wear them every other day the last a lifetime, give, give it a little rest. I feel like you just made that up. I didn't make it up. I heard it once, and I. I think I you heard know. yourself say it to yourself, and you're like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna say <laughs> yeah, that later today when I'm talking with Adam and Nate." When shoes come up. That was uh, a. <laughs> that was amazing. Man. Nate, don't give him too much credit. It wasn't that great. Was I was kind of like an oracle or something. <laughs> you were happy when you heard it. <laughs> like, like they said that, and you're like, you know, what? I was having, <laughs> I was having a really shitty day, but now. <laughs> that just gave me up. I love you much. I'm gonna take my shoes off right now and tell them how much I care about them. I'm the, the oracle of fun like I throw bones in my spare time. See, see I was remembering something else. Fuck. Uh, the Matrix? No. <laughs> David Quinn told me that the average sewer rat can hold its breath for three minutes. Mm-hmm. You can you can hold your breath for three minutes, Adam. Hey. Wow. Uh, <laughs> there's the fucking door. And I'll just leave. Set set up with spiked. That was, that was, uh... Yes. Well, guys, it's been, that's been our time, Trevor. Well, uh, thanks for coming to the show. You can no, no, cut. fuck right off. <laughs> okay, Kill. so... Post. North Soul. Yeah. Uh, how long ago did it start in touch? Um, like, last summer, last September, maybe? We were doing farmer's markets, and um, we played at, like, the Gratitude Club and stuff. Last summer. Talk louder. So, we'll do. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, what is that now? Not even a year. Not even. Eight months? Something? Six months? How yeah. did you get... S- your catalog is pretty immense for... I mean, how yeah. often do you practice? Uh, I mean... Um, not too wildly often. Um, me and Travis have been playing together like 15 years in different bands. So, uh, Nor- North Soul is well, just uh, Trevor here and Travis. 15 years back. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go back. How, so, how far have you get in Travis gone back? Is it starting with Public Muffins? 15. Yeah, even before that. MTV. Even before Public uh, Muffins? We had a little rock and roll band. Oh, boy. What were you guys called? Like, MKA. On, on, on social uh, cupcakes? <laughs> <laughs> what did MKA stand for? Uh, my Mario kitty Kart asshole. Games. We were addicted to Mario Kart. MK what? Mario Kart addicts. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So nice. We, we had that one for a couple of years, and then we, went, we played a bunch of others. They're, we don't really play the same songs. It's not, I guess, why we have the catalog we do today. Um, yeah, I we, really um, don't think that Sha La 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 song or whatever yeah, was around no. back then. No. So, um, but we we definitely just like have. Um, draw from all of our influence for that, you know? So, like, I, I'd never heard that Shalalo song. Yeah, I didn't until you played that it. weekend, yeah. That's uh, from the fucking uh, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper movie. Mm. What is it? The Star is Born? Yeah. Yeah. Which, I haven't seen that either, but... I haven't it's either. A song. But, I mean, Bradley Cooper is so fucking dreamy. Mm-hmm. People were like, oh, Lady Gaga sings. And I'm like, yeah, fucking duh. Mm. And then they're like, but Bradley Cooper does too. And I'm like... What? <sighs> but we like we've been getting songwriting too, which we gotta get that we gotta get recording, huh? You do, I've been fucking no telling you. Recordings. Yep. So we'll how many how many original North Soul songs do you have? About eight that are that we perform. 
not, you know, four or five regularly, and then a couple of the works. And, 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 and there's another thing we were talking about. Hey, uh, Trevor, why don't you tell them where they can find your music online? Hey, at... North Soul WI for Wisconsin. North Soul WI. Yeah, but is there Facebook. any, like, oh, can I, like, just look up one of your singles? Like, what if I really want to listen to on Spotify? Oh, North you Soul are WI. Who by the luck? Yeah. Dot com? No, it's or at, dot WI. Like, like, on Facebook. It, 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 at North Soul WI. Oh, okay. Your handle. On, on Facebook, yeah. The Facebook handle. Um, North Soul Music on Instagram and North Soul Music at gmail.com. No, like, official website. No, no official website and no like singles Just anywhere to listen to though. Let's do the trick. Social media, that's the trick. Yeah, but I want like if I want to listen to your singles, I can't do it. Well, there are none. Yeah, what about but YouTube? When there are, oh, we do have a YouTube channel up, but um, there's like a couple videos, two of the same song. So we're working on that too. Hmm. Not much of tech, guys. No, clearly no. <laughs> You're just all about being like northern, well, like I've been known to we play acoustic instruments in my day. Like we, we show uh, up with the uh, with acoustic instruments. So. If you're interested, music videos, hell yeah, yeah, very interesting. Yeah, he's done a couple like, of them. You should, should do that. Like, Did it because I can one. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that's why we're so famous today. <laughs> yes, from that one video. <laughs> yeah. What was like the premise? Artists never have money, so don't worry about that. Oh, uh, right. the premise was David was having girl yeah. troubles. Go figure. Our bass player was having trouble with women. Right. Well, that was the My premise of it. Pretty, pretty low. Kind of more like the trade of, uh, of, uh... Blowjobs. You need another you one? tell your people to watch it, and then, uh... Sometimes you Someone say, go. oh, who did that? Yeah. yeah. It's good enough. Yeah. yeah. It takes Absolutely. exposure, which is yeah. like yeah. weird because like grocery stores don't. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> Neither do I. Don't, I don't get to plug, yeah. pick, and save, and then they're like, "Yeah, here you get it." Yeah. Oh yeah. Here's a twelve pack. Told your friends. Mm. Yeah. And hookers definitely don't take exposure. Uh, no. They suffer from it a lot, but overexposure really. Yeah. Is, okay. it, is it treatable exposure? Yeah, uh, two weeks with the antibiotic. <laughs> <laughs> That's, what they, That's what I'd sell them, at least. Um, so tell them some fucking shows you got coming up. Ooh, yeah. Let's North just Soul do that. Is we're playing. We're trying to talk about them as much as we can first. So when Come we drink more. A town near you. To a town yeah. near you. I don't know why you're doing that. If you're in Wisconsin. Yeah. Um, let's see here. We got some private stuff. We are very... <laughs> Bookable for your bat mitzvahs or uh, weddings or divorces or quinceañeras, any of it. Um, Walleye weekend, June eighth. That's a good one in uh, Fond du Lac. Speaking of Walleye weekend, you know who Saturday. else better is playing there than you? No. Bob Evil. Yeah. They're way better than you. So I suck hope, it. I hope it's not Saturday at one to three p.m. No, it actually is. It's, it's actually night. Saturday from noon to four. It's Friday night. Don't worry. That about. really sucks to be you. No. Yeah, I'm going to have to like, pop off on it. <laughs> Thank you. That was not that great. But I was Before that, though, in Oshkosh, gosh, too, May 23rd. May 23rd, that's a Thursday, 5 to 9. There's Oshkosh gosh, into the night. You heard about this? No. Ooh, it's like an art festival thing. She calls it, um, like, what's the art sales? Uh, art fair. Art fair meets Cirque du Soleil. <gasps> so, in other words, it's like Burning Man, but 100 times less. Yes. Nice. Like, very much. In fact, there will be burning men there. We got some fire performers. Oh, like fire, fire cool. breathers. Mm-hmm. And they're, not, they're not burning men. Well, accidents happen. No. It could be burning men. There is like a glass torch place on that street, so, you know, there'll be some burning oh, yes. men, if you know <laughs> what I mean, man. Oh. Uh, won't be us, of course. Good Christian folk over here. Oh, yeah. Well, it's so a Thursday, May 23rd, Oshkosh, into the night. That's going to be awesome, 5 to 9. Um, again, while they weekend, June 8th, that's Saturday, 1 to 3. And then Tiki Bar in Elkhart Lake. I haven't even been there yet. I haven't either. I was going to ask if you had been. No. But it's a great place. It's There's new owners, and they're great. Um, um, but that's Sunday, June 23rd at the... Anything tiki related is awesome. Don't actually. you have like three dates with them for the tiki bar though? We have like I think five. I was gonna say I saw more than just one day though. At least five. 
I did notice one of their dates there was like a typo in something, and I was just like, yeah. "Fuck these guys, <clears throat> fuck North Soul." Do you uh, <laughs> do you take requests uh, on <clears throat> private case. as far as covers go? Yeah, I mean, we we I would I, time, really. my only one we request. Do. I can't remember what it is right now, but I, I, that's I, very helpful. I have a uh, a sad job, and I'm isolated all day for eight hours at a time, and I think of things, and I thought of something. I'm like, man, you know, I wonder if I asked them if they would I'd really love to hear their interpretation of this song, and I can't remember it now. I'll, uh, I'll remember it, actually, it again. I think it was, a, you were telling me about it, I think it was like a Mongolian cat orgy. Nice. If you could actually cover that. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, kind of. Um, my only, I've seen you guys live about three times now. Yeah. My only request really is like, you know, maybe like show a bit more like nips. Like, you know, take your tops off. I, like, and I'm getting older. I'm notorious for getting my shirt off, for sure. Uh, I've I'm seen you, th- oh, yeah, okay, back when you were in high school and illegal. Now that you're legal, I want on. <laughs> I like, s- come on. There have been plenty of and, examples. Uh, don't uh, get me wrong. When you were in high school, I wanted on as well, yeah. but that was illegal. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Which like one better shape now, too, even. I'm so. way older than him. Are you? I would imagine. I'm, oh. I'm 2010, graduated, uh, 27 now. I, don't, I didn't graduate. Fuck off. Okay. Well, I got suspended, just, and then I went homeschooled and kind of finished. Just tell him your age. 27. Yeah, I'm 31. Oh, duh. That's not okay. drastic. I'm so Being much older than him. A few years. Around the corner. Anyways. Uh, I'd still fuck him. I mean, if yeah, you look at the difference you, between uh, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper, good shit. you guys aren't that bad. I yeah, swear I would take my shirt off. Um, you know what it is, <laughs> is I used to sing more, just sing, and now I got an instrument, I got a, um, strap around me all the time, it's hard to take your shirt off that way. Chafing, get, get a silk, get a silk strap. Mm-hmm. The, chafing, right? the chafing of the strap. Yeah. Yep. Get, yep. I should, I have this mm-hmm. rough leather, I should switch to it. I have that problem with it's the nice French horn. Yeah. I should switch to the soft silk. Hmm? I don't. <laughs> I don't play the French horn. You don't play the French horn? No. No chafing. Uh, <laughs> Just go wrong with that tuba? I don't have a problem with it at all. <laughs> um, I had a question about one of the shows I saw you at. Mm-hmm. Um, when I saw you at the Brick House, mm-hmm. that's fine. One of the biggest questions I've had since that day. Um, it's a two-parter. Okay. When you guys took a little bit of a break, when you were done, like you were had your break when. You were about to start a waitress. No, it's a three-parter. Sorry, now. I have another question now. Uh, one of the waitresses brought you another drink and a plate of wings. Uh, uh-huh. Um, and you just told her to set them down behind you. First question, how pissed were you that she brought them right before <laughs> you were about to start playing again? Well, I wasn't expecting them at that time, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And you were like, well, what the fuck good does this do me? Yeah. Bitch. Let him, let him fester. And I, yeah, and then you were just like, just put him down there. Yeah. And she like laid him down. They, they were good. I was yeah. going to say, second question, did you pay for those wings? No. no. On house? Nice. I, she might have. It wasn't a waitress, by the way. Oh. <laughs> so, so, a lady yeah. of the night, perhaps? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, she it stays wasn't. Up, she stays up pretty late, yeah. Oh. And I don't know who she probably paid for the wings. I don't think that. So you didn't though. Wings. But we got paid for this. I mean indirectly, right? No. I, mean, she, I did not pay for them. Nice. And they were delicious. I was just gonna ask, how were the, like at uh, what bucks. time of night did you have them, and were they still good? Because they sat around for a while. Right after the second set, which is probably another two hours. Or yeah. Something. Did you get sick? No. Not, not because you know, of Brickhouse Wings, but because they no, sat for so long. I never I, even noticed any of this, what you're talking about. Dude, I, I was eyeing them the fuck up because I wanted them. <laughs> and I'm like, there's fucking wings right there. Why can't it's like, <laughs> just be like, we're going to take another five minute break, I guess. Like, fuck it. I eat dirt. I have incredible amusement. Adam system. grabs the wings and runs. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, if you're not going to eat those, like, I'll just go ahead and take those. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. I don't notice. There's just like bones left. You wouldn't be fooling me. Yeah, but I just been like, too bad. I already fucking ate them. <laughs> like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Fair. Let you digest. Yeah. That's what I do. Oh yeah. Well, that's nice of you. Yeah. 
Uh, and had, so I saw you at Patty's first, mm-hmm. and then I saw you at Brick House, and then the third show I saw you at was at a McDonald's. North Soul played yeah. at a McDonald's. How wonderful. did you pull that off? He but gave Ronald a McTubba. <laughs> we asked. We asked them. Um, and we were basically, it was probably under the conditions that we were buying 200 um, shamrock, shamrock shakes. shakes. So they were making some money. So I was going to say, so did you did like lay down a baseline advance? like, hey, we're playing? Hmm? Did they know that in advance? Yeah. Did they have yeah. stuck okay. up on shamrock shakes? In fact. Yes, they did. In fact. Um, I think we kind of had a little, like, just fun thing that we wanted to do. So we were just going to buy those shakes regardless. So, like, when we go in there, like, we're going to buy these shakes. Like, can we play? Like, we're going to buy them either way. So they were like, I think that was very much so. What, how they, yeah, they were very into it. Hmm. Yeah, I felt really bad because and it's like, yeah. I got there, I just, I ate. It was the so ma- many the people. The manager was a musician too. We appreciated it. Oh, okay, cool. Because yeah, I was worried because it's like we we sat there and like you know usually like I didn't. No. It's a good time. No. I didn't. Next I couldn't time. text them because my phone fucking died. Next McDonald's show. Yeah, next time. Oh yeah. Okay. And you guys had your oh, name yeah. too. Of yeah. The fucking. Of the the the, yeah. mar- the marquee. That too, you know, three times asking. So, you know, asking enough times. You know, oh yeah. Persistent. It's like Pays when off. they're trying to have sex with the girl. Yeah. Please? 50 no's and a yes is still a yes. That's right. Yes. It took a while, but... Yes. Um, one thing I was going to say, you had punch cards. Yeah. When, uh, because you did, what was it, like, how many shows in, like, a week span, or was it a week or so? Yeah, just, I think four. Four, because so it was like... Oh my gosh, that's how many fingers I held up. Holy <laughs> hell! Are you psychic? It's a good, a good, damn good guess. Jesus Christ, Nate. No, I still Friday have the punch Friday. card sitting okay. next to my computer. Oh, that's weird. Because I it. so I see it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and you just live with the, the punched. I didn't one. I didn't bring the punch. Only one. Did you don't know, don't carry that on you. No, it didn't fit in the fanny. Surprisingly, you need a bigger fanny pack. <laughs> yeah, upgrade. Well, so you have a punch. A whole punch. With a pick punch. It punches picks. Guitar picks. Oh shit! That yeah, take a lot of the car. Yeah. It, it, wouldn't, it, would, it would not fit in the fanny. It would not fit in the fanny. It would not make a good uh, pick either. It's a bit flimsy. For a what? The cardboard? Oh, the, the, punch, the card? punch card. No, would oh, not. No. no. Use it for like old credit cards. and. Yeah. Our, our uh, employer, totally do all uh, awesome Use guy it. that he is, Mr. Bruce, uh, gave me an entire roll of like plastic. Of plastic. Nice. So like so fucking it's, it's like basically like, like medium base picks. I was gonna say if it rolls up, it must be pretty thin. Uh, you'd be surprised. But I was gonna say, talking about the but punches. You gave us yeah. the whole thing to, to, to make guitar picks. Yeah. Cool. So. <laughs> yeah, those are cool. As long as people had two punches, was it out of your four shows? Yeah. They when they showed up at McDonald's. They would get a free shamrock shake. And. In fact, you could get any flavor of shake, and if you showed up, so the the idea ended up changing. Whoa! I, I can't believe it happened. Of course I have one. I have number 10. I'm number 10 fan. That's pretty good. There's yeah. like 30, number 10 fan. There's like 35 that day, I think. I'm going to like throw this up here quick. It's just a little like badge-like pendant thing that says oh. North Soul. Yeah. He's number 10. Number 10, bitch. Yeah. You ain't no Schmitty wearing a ring but <laughs> you know what? you're number 10 at least. Yeah. I, I wanna, was number I one. <clears throat> make a confession here real quick. I don't know why I feel like I need to say this. Nate, we knew you were gay not. so long ago. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> not to be gay, but... I don't like that genre of music. Acoustic? The, no, gay. The, the folkish acoustic. Yeah. yeah. Blue fair, I I don't. Mm-hmm. But... 100%. Uh, and I don't like you seeing as you a guys. person. You know what I mean? At all. It's one of those situations in which you you go to see something, and you're like, well, this is not my thing, but they're so amazing. Yeah, I appreciate that, you. Like, like so you know what I mean? Like, I would definitely check it out again. That's why I was asking about the possibility of hearing your interpretation of another song, mm-hmm. and so on and so on, because when you're... you guys take... In my opinion, something that I wouldn't normally be interested in, and you do it so well that, you. in your case, I like it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, thank you. 
So I just I had to throw that out there. When yeah. He was talking about number ten fan and everything. I mean, because yeah, I was fucking blown away. Yeah. Even well, though I actually am. Even though that, that's not I have, my I have thing. proof that you know I'm such a fan that I have that too, Nate. So mm-hmm. really, how big of a fan are you? Because where's your where's your medallion? Huh? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're I'm really slacking. Yeah. You know, that's it. I'm um, just saying they that's they just big amazed me. In our, in our practice, definitely trying to get um, do what we can best, like with two dudes. Stand up bass, cup. stand up bass, mandolin, one cup, two vocals. Yes. Um, occasionally harmonica, but like, Whoa. you know, what can you do with with twelve strings and two voices? You know, and then like when we do like a cover song or even an original, right? Then you like we're like, you know, what's the important parts of the song? What vocal parts can we do? And because um, like jar of hearts and stuff. Yeah, jar of hearts. And definitely. Not yeah, but, like the original, but like yeah, because then all of a sudden you guys like you just like yeah, and you pick, pick it up, up the beat time, and, yeah, and yeah, because like we couldn't have a synth part or drum parts or something, you know. So it's like you gotta yeah, you know, like, so we definitely try to just work it. And, yeah, it comes, it's it's been working really well. Same. Oh well then. Look at us. These were great. So then we had, we opened up the Shamrock Shakes to everyone. Yeah. Like, because we ended up getting in the newspaper and on the radio and stuff. Because this was a benefit for for uh, the flood relief. So. Um, yeah, so nice guys. So nice so fucking guys. Like, yeah. So then the radio and fucking newspapers were like, fucking yeah, we'll put you in gotta, there. Got to break so, some part um, for the fishes. Yeah, for I the turtles. That's the turtles. Part of is trying to do you know good stuff. Be, be nice guys. Yeah. Yeah, good, nice sexy good guys. Folk. Good folk. Yeah, exercise and diet. That's it's good too. In my uh, <laughs> North Soul pamphlet. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, sex, nice sexy guys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you. Uh, but so we yeah, so, this you, so they put us in the radio and and then we since we to, opened it up to everyone, anyone can come in. Whoever walks in the store gets a shamrock shake. The people who got two punches. Got these yeah, bad bitches. Motherfuckers. Do you have more of these? There is a handful left. Yeah. My father-in-law would love one. My father-in-law gonna, loves you guys. We're gonna have to have some proving grounds or something like some way to, you know. <gasps> he came to McDonald's. Song by Attila. Proving ground. Yes. Yeah, you guys cover Attila. <laughs> Those friends, no. Yeah. Just be like, we not, I'm a bad motherfucker. No. No. Yeah. no. I I don't think that would work. No. <laughs> it's like, pick up your... You just, you just be like, I'm trick. a bad motherfucker, not a fucking role model. Fuck church, hit a bomb, nigga, smash a fucking bottle. Got Is that sons that help me roll a few blunts and they never question me because they know I hate cunts. Ooh. Dude, I like that. Yeah, dude. Fucking A. Hey. Eat my words and swallow my sentences. <laughs> like, you can totally do that. All right. What is it? <laughs> Attila. Attila. Is it... Is it, um... They... The screens and stuff. Oh yeah, they're heavy as dicks. So would not have understood it probably if it played. No, no, he he kind of does a little bit of rapping too. So like that intro is like a. Uh, he's. It's like a heavy he's drum. A really fast screaming, rapish kind of. But so not like that. So yeah, no, <laughs> like like the intro of that song has like heavy drums to it. But he's like, I'm a bad motherfucker, not a fucking role model. Fuck church, hit a ball, nigga, smash the fucking ball. Got a few sluts and they roll a few blunts and they never question me because I know I hate cunts. Ooh. And then they go like into the ooh. So yeah, like that's when you'd be ooh. <laughs> <laughs> eat my words and swallow my sentences. <laughs> that's, that's pretty accurate. You fucking asshole. <laughs> You totally do that. Mm-hmm. North Soul, bitch! I can show you later. Wow. <laughs> On the way home. I was going to show my dad. Yeah. I can mm-hmm. pull up some Spotify. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't even use Spotify. Is that weird? Like, I, I just started I using it YouTube. because I get with uh, Lulu. Yeah. I like it because I was a Pandora person and you had to Same. build the station. And you had to open the fucking box. It's but fucked up. Now, with Spotify, uh, you can type in a station and... Chances are premium. someone else already built it. That's pretty convenient. Yeah. And it's all shared. Otherwise, and yeah, I would just use YouTube too. And you like a couple of friend that's like friend group Spotify things or something playlist. I don't know. I don't know enough about it yet. What? Uh, I'm sorry. What? what? Spotify. What you, about you? Can have like group playlists or something? Yes. That's convenient too. That's 
I just uh, sure. I just have the the For premium sure. YouTube just so I can watch Cobra Kai. <laughs> so, dude. <laughs> The red or whatever? YouTube red, yeah. Or premium. I, that upsets me so much. I am such Season? a YouTube fan that someday I will have a YouTube tattoo. Uh, just because the, I've spent logo, so, like, so, so much. Yeah. I've spent... Adam, how many hours... Okay, you know how they say... Nate, I'm 31 years old. You spent more hours than I am old <laughs> they, on YouTube. They say the whole thing about mastering your art is 10,000 hours. Yeah. I'm... I probably I am probably like a master of YouTube. Hell yeah! Actually, I am literally. I can find anything if someone set. says they saw it, and they try to describe it. I can find it. Well, um, um but you know, uh, you know it's weird. Uh, you know the David just, Dobrik. You know that guy, YouTuber, uh, Viner, blogger. Mm -hmm. Can't fucking with it. But uh, he always joked about like when he was uh, a kid growing up, his uh, he'd be sitting in the bed watching YouTube videos, and his parents would yell at him because he's like well, not doing anything. His mom's like, "What are you doing?" And he just just like he, uh, what was it? He would always say like, "I'm working," like you know while he's watching YouTube, and now he's a famous YouTube vlogger. Yeah. My only problem is, as much as I love it, of all the different platforms. It, it seems to be the most expensive one. Well, now I, I think I don't understand. Well, that. No, Logan Paul oh, so. fucked everything up. It's not a free platform. Oh, you know it is. It is, but for their premium service. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's right. it, it's ex, it's expensive. Oh, I thought you meant to be a YouTuber. But you guys is not on that yet. I what I pay what I pay for my Spotify? Spotify. No, not even the seven free days. Cause I'm not. No, I, I totally... what I pay for my Spotify, I get Hulu too. Oh damn! Yeah, that's, that's nice. the new. That's the new thing. <laughs> ah, you can still get that till June. Is it like we're plugging so much shit? We're not even sponsored. This is yeah. Fun. You're welcome. We yeah. will be someday. We can have me on these two. We can, we can do. We can. Uh, we can be sponsored for uh, Simply Safe and Audible and uh, the you know fucking uh, what is it, a fucking mattress company. Yeah. Purple. Dude, no. We have to get the fucking. Uh, Speaking of plugging shit. Um, <laughs> Rina Del Cid is on YouTube. This is, um... What? Um... That was oh, a word? Yeah. Rina is Spanish. Rina Del Cid. Mm -hmm. I don't have good Spanish. I voted for why. Trump, so I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> also, that's what I Roll your R. Oh, that's, that's it. it. I'm not... Rina? 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 Oh, man, I'm so white. Rina? No, Rina, I, I can do it. I'm, like, Cid. one of the whitest fucks. <laughs> so, Rina Del Cid? Um... This guy, this guy is from around here. <laughs> Instead of saying his name, just like this guy around yeah, here. It's a good thing you're way over there right now. Um, oh, different from the YouTube. So, this is going back a bit. This guy um, around found like um, raced video game. Raced in video game? I don't know. Speed rate or speed runner? I'm not sure which game. Like to finish a game as fast as possible? No, no, like raced cars in a video game. Like a car video game. Right? Oh, like Need for Speed or some shit like that? Yeah, and then. Through like competitions and all that is now professionally racing actual cars like in fucking Dubai and stuff. Like, well, I mean, you know, shit. a what professional happens? racer did kill Paul Walker, so you know, they're not all great people. Just saying. Excuse me. Oh, he was like being driven with. No, he was a passenger. Hey, oh, yeah. you guys. Yeah. Hey, you Went guys. To, uh, Paul Walker, and. Uh, it's gonna be bad. Oh, uh, what's uh, uh, no? I'm saying his delivery is gonna be bad because he can't even fucking remember the joke. <laughs> Same. This is the problem right here. Yeah. Um. We're no good comedians. I'm still on. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It, I just do this every day, so then I'm good. Paul Walker and something in common. Who's the other guy mm. in uh, the Fast and Furious? Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. Yeah. Oh, what do, what do Paul Walker and Vin Diesel have in common? They're both in Fast and Furious movies, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, no, that's it. Um, both of them, their last hit was a tree. Groot. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. He's the place. Of... Yeah, he's Groot. Um, guess how would I know that? You know, besides, well, like from. No, like, I think it basically was just like people right. just online were just like. Vin Diesel ne needs to be Groot, and Vin just went with it, and he just was like, yeah, I am Groot. 
I just am. And I think he, like, walked in and was just like, so I'm the voice of Root. And, like, they gave it to him. Nice. I think it's something along the lines of that where it's just awesome. kind of like how Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool where it just like he just was like, no, I, ain't, I fucking am. Like, all that shit. I think it was just the confidence in it. Good joke, Nate. But I saw it in a meme before, so. You gotta, get, you gotta wake up early to get past me and my memes. <laughs> you got it, right? It, yes. <laughs> it was just, uh, that was cool. It's Paul Walker. He hit a tree. The driver but, hit a tree. No, the driver hit a tree. Am I right? Yeah. Apparently, this is. Well, that was still his last hit. Yes. <laughs> oh, there was a. Um. That's that's a very like current joke. That joke's gonna change after Vin Diesel gets another movie. You know, that's a very here and now joke. Good one. Yeah. yeah. That's a good. Yeah, one. if they make that's like good. the Pacifier two or something, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shit. Um, then they screwed out of that the Pacifier joke. Pacifier two, all grown up. <laughs> like, oh man. Grown up. <laughs> The Nook, or Nookie. Travis has this song called Baby Grandpa, and it's fucking incredible. It's a theme song to it, the sitcom that doesn't exist, but it's the, the theme song exists. Well then, that's kind of all you need. Yeah. I know, I've heard time. of Uncle Grandpa, but not Baby Grandpa. <laughs> you from Georgia? No, it was a Cartoon Network show. It's like a newer one. Uh, let's check Georgia? it out. How? I'll check it out Saturday morning. No, you fucking won't. I don't watch cartoons Saturday morning. That's Sunday morning shit. Sunday morning's church, sir. <laughs> yeah, you know me. <laughs> right. Yeah. Let's see there. Um, are you pretty disconnected from technology and shit? Because I feel like a lot of <clears throat> current jokes are going way past your head. I'm, like, I've grown... I use Snapchat a lot. Oh, no, you're one of those people. Really? Yeah, yeah. I think Snapchat's a fucking incredible platform for social media. Like, why the, the fuck aren't we friends on the Snapchat? Concept, then? I don't know. Because get fucked. I snap. You don't have one? No, I, I remember. I used to do. Right now. I used to. I used to do like hour long videos and movies on Snapchat. I call them Snapster pieces. We'll see now. Oh, I, I, I do remember, remember that. that. Yeah. I dig oh, it, but it kind shit. of defeats the purpose they of Snapchat. They were good. Oh, God, yeah. I used to do fucking awesome movies they on Snapchat just for fun. Good. Oh, my I had gosh. nothing to do, so I would just do that, and then uh-huh. I stopped. Well, so I, we'll do it later. Okay. Hey. I always I always tell myself, I like, go back. Idea, especially the original idea of Snapchat. You send I'm something, it's 10 seconds, it's gone. It's fleeting moments. It's real. That's real shit. And... And, like, it's awesome to make a joke because I could, like, explain a situation to someone in, over text or something and make this joke. Or I can send a picture and instantly joke. One of, okay, best snap I think I've had. That quick trip. See, right now, I have to explain this joke. I could just do it with Snapchat. Oh, right? yeah, you're so right. So, I'm at quick trip. and I'm already there. And you, Of course, we all have a soft spot in our heart for quick trip. Can I have a, like, pause a second? Mm-hmm. Can I just say, is Quick Trip becoming the Walmart of gas stations? Ooh, I think so. They're, like, going that route. Yeah, okay. Is... No, I meant, like, with the, the, the shitty people that go there. And, like... I go there every people, morning and I see... People of shit. Yeah, quick, people of QuickTrip.com. Get so it So we fucking do it. You Thank you, Dusty. You got a gift card? You owe your money? I think I probably could, yeah. I have my rewards card in my wallet. I'm just saying. I, I see so many people. It could be a, there could be a people at Quick Dude, super com. Cool. He's actually the general manager of the store by your house. Nice. Okay. So anyway, so, the guy is awesome. Mm. So your best snap or whatever. Last snap. Welcome to Quick Trip. They have iced coffee, right? And, <laughs> and they have. <laughs> and Sorry. I took a picture. You know. So they have lids for the cups. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That was what yes. I was waiting for. Actually, it is, but. A little more to get to it, right? So, so it, the, it's labeled iced lids. It's the iced lids in there. And I snapped it and I said, in my day, we call them cool hats. <laughs> hey, this guy. That's, that's my favorite. Trevor, story. how do they get you on Snapchat? Uh, Sly feel. One word. Yeah. Shit. I think it's a John Hartford reference. You want to hear mine? I have I I I've had wait, many wait, wait, great wait, wait. snaps, but I have one that I know you remember. I wait, think that wait. you love. But oh, no, go ahead. No, I I can't go because it's not a snap. Constipated it's an or what? Uh huh. But I'm gonna tell you after he's done because mm-hmm. I don't feel like 
Since we are talking about Snapchat, he has the right to go first. Mm-hmm. I but just it's rem- that it's as good as what you're talking about. I just remember I did it on Snapchat and then I put it on Facebook because you told me I should put it on Facebook because you thought it was so funny. Cause Snapchat? Yeah, it was... Snapchat. Uh, Snapchat. From the parking lot? Yes, I was uh, oh. in the... Yes. I was in the Holiday Automotive by Walmart. I had to like park in there because they were doing something to the, par- the parking lot. And there was a, a stairs mm-hmm. to Walmart and Target and all that shit. And I just said... Uh, stairway to, and then just had a Walmart symbol on it, and I saw like 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 the big flower thing right over their new like new symbol. So it was like stairway to Walmart. Oh, yeah. So I just took a picture of that, and I, my message was, was this what Led Zeppelin was singing about? Right stairway to heaven. Yes. Just... That's a gold Snapchat. Yeah, it shows up on my fucking Facebook memories every yes. now and then. See, that's pri- that's a prime example of like go- Snapchat use, right? You got, you got a Snapchat I, I, it, Well, it would have been, but it's actually an Instagram. Okay. But it's the same It's the same analogy. I mm-hmm. mean, it breaks down the same way. It's a, it, it relates to Quick Trip, too. Yeah. Oh, um, Jesus. Have you ever seen the uh, thing on the side of any of a Quick Trip that says overflow alarm? Mm-hmm. Okay. Big red alarm. Like yeah. So red button. I happened to pull in one day, oh, and yeah. I saw the light flashing. And I looked down, and I looked up, and I'm like, this can't be happening. So I got out, and I took a video of the alarm, the light flashing, and I went down, and it says, overfill alarm. Mm -hmm. And I went down to the garbage can right in front of it that was just (laughs) precariously overflowing. There it is. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yes! It was amazing. That's I still prime. have it. It's, it's there somewhere, so... Oh, It man. was hilarious. Like... You couldn't have... That's... This is the... This is the gems of social media. Like, they're out there. We know the horrors, too. Social media sucks, but it's also, like... It's you know, funny. not all of us can be as great as, like, Catch Me Outside, you know? <laughs> Dude, she built a wild career off of that. I want her dead. <laughs> hey now. You're an all star. Get your game on. Go play. Hey now. You're a rock star. Get the show on. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey. Let's go. What's. Um, Smash Balls? What's your spaghetti policy here? And also music policy here. Well, my spaghetti policy is. Uh, spaghetti. That's what I call it. You know, shorten it up. What is that? Uh, the spaghetti policy, as long as you have it in, in a uh, sandwich bag mm-hmm. and a fork, you're good to go. Cool. Yeah, Sorry. that's fine. Do you have a, a fucking fork in there? Yeah. I'm good to go. I got them both right here. It's a Always Sunny reference. You'll get there someday. Oh, okay. Are you going to get season? It's episode three. Yeah, he's well, far behind. You'll get there. Okay. That is a great episode. There's not even a Danny DeVito yet. I don't think I've ruined it by mentioning season, season two. No, he doesn't know what the fuck you're talking about. You, it's still going to be funny. Okay. Yeah. No, um, right. Danny DeVito comes in season right. two. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, like, every time he comes here, I always have it on the TV, and, like, almost, like, the last three times he's come uh, and I'm here, uh, I'm like, dude, why are you jerking off in front of me? It's so weird. Um, but then also... Did you not see that coming? No. Oh. I didn't I see did. it coming either. I that was weird. No. I did not anyway, so, but uh, <laughs> I always have always on on, and it's been, like, uh the episode where Frank has to do like a beauty pageant for children. Do you remember that yeah, episode? Yeah. yeah it's been on like the last three one. times that no he's been here. So. The children. <laughs> no children. Yeah, don't tittle the kids. Yeah. No. So I just, I would just feel like he, maybe he thinks that he's coming over Anything like Adam's like... jerking off the children on fucking TV again. Here we go. He's tiddling the kids. I don't. I don't tiddle the kids. You're, you're far enough away from the school Schools, right? I know, I planned it out that way. Yeah. I mean, no, we, uh, there was just, you know, we was, really uh, liked being next to a Mexican restaurant. I was, um, I was talking with someone and they're like, yeah, like, I have to be so far away from, my house has to be so far away from schools or whatever. I'm like, oh, shit, did you catch a charge? Like, you know, your girlfriend was 17 or 18 or Yeah. And like, he's like, no, dude, because I do drugs and I don't want, like, when you're closer to school grounds, it's a bigger charge. Smart. It's a better reason, right? Yeah. I'm not a diddler. Yeah, I know. Wouldn't touch again, just do drugs a lot. Hey, I have a question. 
Mm-hmm. Speaking That's of that, cute. in the Mexican restaurant, where, where's your phone? Over here. Yeah. Not you. Oh, okay. Whatever. My pocket. It's over here. Pretend like you're going to do a... With Snapchat up. No, sure A, no. uh... A uh, voice recording. A voice With the voice recording app. Mm-hmm. And I'm doing. see if it names it. Um, because it's been my experience that it names it randomly for you. No, my recording app has... Which recording am I supposed to do? New recording and then a number. Um, Which what, What's the icon look So like? I've been using this voice memo. That memos. one, really? Yes. I've been using voice memos. No. Right. Um, no, and I told you. So I name. Take the antibiotic and it'll go in two, two weeks. Need, need okay, it's eight, just right? two weeks. But hey, I can't help it. If you got it for, if, it, if it's still there, maybe it's something else from someone else. Like 14, it's 14, 14, 14. Always two weeks after because the antibiotic. Because if I just I push that now. without saying anything, okay, I swear. Yeah. And I'm here at Adam's house. It says Casa de Tequila. Give it two weeks. Okay. We I'll talk to you later, Mom. All right. Happy Mother's Day. So Love you. Bye. Okay. What? Which, if that building wasn't there, we'd be staring at it. Yeah, it's right there. Um, it's right. So it's like a location. It's just using your location. Yeah. Um, is it one that you downloaded, or did it come on your phone? What do you mean? It's your, the same app. These are the you riveting have, questions. The same app. Apple? Yeah. That's right. You have the exact same app. That's why I wanted to see the, the wrong phone. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and if and uh, voice memo, yeah, is that like, that's like the if I don't name it on. ahead of time. If I just if I literally just open you know it saying? and push record oh. and say something, and then oh. and then stop yeah. to save it, it says, uh, "Casa de Tequila." That's that strange. That, isn't that, and I was wondering if you did the same thing. No, I'm just new recording and then it's number. It's crazy. And whatever. Isn't that huh. crazy? Which makes more sense. Yeah. But maybe it's because Doesn't I have my location like really turned off on the app. Oh, I'm, I'm all about not caring. No, I That's got to be um, why. I generally, right? like, I like I, I accept the uh, idea that, like, I, and I don't care. Like, I have, like, an Alexa at the house, you know, like, I'm not, like, worried about shit like that. But like, stuff like Snapchat, right? The, the location. God, right? fucking like, Snapchat! Any, like anyone can always see your location. Like that's weird to me. Oh, I turned that off right away. Fuck yeah. that. So like, I don't want people to know I'm, that I. I'm exist. fine with like. All right, Google like, can know my location because they know everyone's fucking location. Like. Oh yeah, I'm sure so, if you turn that off, they're like, I fuck have, you. I have three Google Home Minis in the house. Yeah. About this? So like, and I don't, I don't Google worry about my location, but like, I'm sitting there everyone, alone, like probably, all the time, yeah. like I always am. Mm-hmm. I don't talk to myself, so I don't care. Right. And even if you did, you know, it's like... I have a question. I might talk back. I mean, since we're already way over up talking about your Google shit, um, were we going to have Trevor play some music? Hey. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Actually, didn't you kind of just try to... Try to... Uh, that was the second policy, right? I was, I was the wondering, yeah. One? It, like, if that was... Yeah. Down. Oh yeah. Our, our policy is you can do anything that uh, isn't illegal. Okay. Uh, it just it has like to be it, it. It can be North Soul, but I prefer it before it. You can probably get high if you want. I I prefer if you do some <laughs> like Norwegian <laughs> grindcore mixture. We'll just no child. Can porn. you Google some tablature? No, you have to figure it out. Okay. No, fuck you. Can you Google me? So I figured it. Um, it's like 7 o'clock now. Mm-hmm. Probably wrap it up in about a half hour or so, but I figured, fuck, we should get you in on this shit. Yeah. Because these people should hear you. And we know. should actually get Travis in here sometime. Absolutely. I'd love to we could do a North Soul really Part 2, maybe. Yes. If people have enjoyed this. They probably fucking loved your guys' <laughs> talk about fucking voice things and Casa del Tequila that they were just like, whoa, sign us up for another. I missed your... Your um, my like phone a, call. What do they call that in, in a play? Yeah, like like a soliloquy. Oh yeah, I was off here my myself. Yeah, I had a deep intimate conversation with my mother. Mm. She was talking about something. And Have I, you seen this phone though? In all fairness. Huh. Yeah. Uh. Not. Oh, it's, a, it's, it's a. a Mickey Mouse. It's gonna blow your mind. It's a Mickey Mouse rotary phone. 
Isn't this, that not amazing? Are you a big Mickey fan? Yeah, yeah, actually. Well, this was the phone you that my parents my parents had this phone when I was a kid, so I stole it. What is this? <laughs> yeah. My mom was asking why it hasn't gone away after the two weeks, and I told her it was probably someone else. Because the antibiotics just cleared up. Shit. So, um... I mean, we have to... Uh, how many songs would you like to play? I don't know how much you want to tease the people. I got, like, one that I was thinking... I was thinking if we did more than one, I'd get sick of it, so that's probably good if that's all you wanted to do. Just kidding. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, definitely... Can do it's up to you, guy. Okay. Then I'll do maybe one You're like, I'll do one and a half, just for you. Yeah. Ooh, I'll, I'll try it. Um, and I'm gonna get out of the screen too, just so it's Well, I, I don't need to be sitting here while he's fucking Maybe it It would just be me getting lost ooh, in his eyes. That's a really big holler. Like I might start screaming at you. Not it's yeah. it's seven o'clock. If we're in an apartment complex, of, whoa! Watch out for the camera guy. Ten. If uh, my neighbors really care, uh, no. Just. There was nights where I did like emo DJ stuff here in my apartment till like midnight. No one said shit, so you can fucking scream as long as long as the lyrics aren't like, "Why is Adam Dunlap in apartment one hundred eight raping me right now?" And I'm completely defenseless. Please, one of his neighbors, come help me. And I don't even feel it. Are you in yet? Well, that's what they all say. I'm, I'm, I'm immune to that. And then my neighbors are too. Hey, you guys. Pause for one second. Uh-huh. And that's the meaning of life. That's what I've been telling people from day one. And if they can't figure it out by now, you guys they're pretty fucking period. stupid. Did that move when I did this? I have no clue. We weren't looking. We were just talking nonsense. I mean, we, I was explaining the meaning of life that I was so lost that uh, I could not focus on the camera. Because I was in One deep bit. Thought. Do you actually... Are we going to sit so, by him while he plays or uh, are we going to back up? Give him his sit by me. I want to fucking yeah, be s- right there, <laughs> man. I've seen him play it, enough. Man. It's so boring. Uh, oh, I mean, no, you're great, kid. I'm actually going to put this in stereo for this. That's your call. Cause he's, this is uh, your show. Oh, that's a fun one. We'll do that one, too. Which okay. one? So, we'll do Johnny and uh, Mr. Camper and Jenny Lynn. These are... So, um, three songs. Works in progress. No, those are two songs. Oh. Mr. Camper and Jenny Lynn is one song. Oh. Um, so, Mr. Camper and Jenny Lynn are a couple. They, are these, like, newer songs? Are you, like... Yeah. Teasing people? Yeah. They're so, so now, since... I mean, you're not very... Socially active, would it, would whenever Nate puts this out, would this kind of be like almost debuting these songs? Uh, yeah, absolutely. If you're willing to I'm do that, sure that's both of these are are debuting. Oh, that's your call, mm-hmm. man. Oh shit, mm-hmm. fucking dicks. That's awfully nice of you, sir. Yeah, look at I, that. I'm very into it, so we'll give it a shot. Johnny, I haven't played in like weeks or months, so it, it probably is. Probably about a month or two old, but I haven't played it in like a month. And then Mr. Camper and Jenny Lynn, is, is, I haven't played in a while either, so we'll see. I'm just gonna. Do you guys wanna um, pick one that I play first? Or um. Okay. So, so. One, I'm horrible at names. Two, how do you, you can't find your music? Honestly, the only one that comes to my head that I can remember is uh, uh, Purple Like Wine. Yeah. I can um, play that too. Oh no, but like, I, th- like so many of your actual original songs, I actually like. But when I think of them, <clears throat> "Purple Like One" comes to my head first. Thank you. I like that one. Oh, so, well, uh, Station Head. Oh, and I'm actually holding up your phone with a wine bottle. This is actually the 30th year anniversary of Final Fantasy wine bottle. Isn't that fucking cool? Everybody out there on Station Head that uh, might be listening, because oh yeah, I actually told you. What was gonna be on our show tonight? Uh, this is what you've been waiting for. This is Trevor North Soul of North Soul. One half of North Soul. Travis will be on another time. Another time. Yeah. And that will be even more thrilling. Well, he's kind of boring, but whatever. I'm just kidding. Uh, he's great, Travis. You're great. No, you're great, 
questions. Um, how about Mr. Camper, Jenny Lynn, to start? Oh, you're not gonna do purple tonight? You want me? To, I'll do purple like oh, I thought you, I thought you said, "What'd you do?" I thought you wanted one that we knew first, and then you gotcha. do the. Those, uh, are, those are your words. Purple like wine. Purple like wine. There was a time I took it right between the eyes. shows because i feel like there's enough people around me usually that i'm just like they get it you watch too much golf no dude you i don't know i don't an experience that was believe it or not i don't know if it's because the combination of the buzz and the fact that you were so fucking good i was just sitting here just like in my own little world fucking I, amazing i love it all you've been playing this guy here okay what explain to people like what is it you play and this is a mandolin um, eight strings. Oops, I called it a ukulele. You uh, did. This is a very common misconception, so you're not alone there. Um, in fact, I, I walked in a parade. I now that I a... look at it, I, I do know the difference. The difference, oh, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. The ukulele does look like a guitar. I think, yeah, you would definitely notice the difference. Um, but right, in, in get, seeing I, it, I get to step I think on my beer mandolin, now. I think of the song Mandolin Rain. Um, I think I just heard about that one, and I don't know it. But um, the GM of uh, South Hills, we just played there, and he he asked about that. Now we don't, I'm gonna look into. Maybe I'll hook that. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll I'll throw that one at you on the Spotify on the way home. Too. Yes. So so, so since it's so hard to find music of yours, 
Do you need, yeah, you need, okay. I was, um, Him. Is that song actually called Purple Like Wine? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that that's an original called Purple Like Wine, and we don't really have any recordings of it. I mean, there is some, like, cell phone videos out there and Are stuff. Are you finishing this? You fucking... Okay. That's a nice tuner. Hmm? It really is. The sacks are really convenient. They it, clip right out. At first, in loud I told so Adam, I'm like, look, that's the world's smallest capo. No. And later on, he's it's like, that's one a string. Yeah, yeah, I was like, <laughs> mate, that's, that's a tuner. So yeah, the mandolin <laughs> is um, this eight-stringed instrument that like I picked up because um, bluegrass. And kind of, did it like take over your life or something? Ca- kind of. So <clears throat> bluegrass got started because Bill Monroe... Um, and his family played music, and his uncle played with, um, violin. Fiddle. Who's Bill Monroe? Bill Monroe is the father of bluegrass okay. music. Um, he's from the uh, like 30s, maybe. Old school bluegrass is things like, will the circle be unbroken? Oh, like a, stuff like that. Or like like Dewey Cox. Nitty gritty, nitty gritty dirt band, things Do, like that. The, 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 the Dewey Cox it, well, story. But, but very like Americana, like people sitting on their porches in fucking Appalachia. So yeah, like you know. Barn dances. Actually, I wrote an essay on the relation between um, techno and, and bluegrass. It's very similar in there. Boom chicka, boom chicka. Mm, 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 Whoa, it's, that explains like and stuff like that. Music. Yeah, absolutely. In R.I.P. Fact, um, me and Noah Gable are playing an event. It's sold out, but it's at Hemp Works, the new hemp shop in town. Um, I hired me and Noah Gable, my roommate, to play at their event, and so we're going to be doing it in a beachy song. And Wake me up, I guess. No. We, oh. and we, Whoa, we, something different. Uh, when we played at Gratitude Club, there was um, a young lady that wanted to hear that one, and we invited her up to sing. So we played Wake Me Up, and she sang with us. But we're playing Hey Brother. Oh. The next one. And it's fucking, I love this song. Yeah. I never really listened to it. He's, uh, he's yeah. got some great music. Rest in peace. Like, well written. Well, he did. Did. <laughs> he still does. The music is still good. It's still his. He's still not around, but the music is still. Um, so that, yeah, like, definitely, um, there's some relation there, and, and Bluegrass is great, and Bill Monroe, like, his uncle played fiddle, his brother played guitar, everything was taken, and I always felt like guitar was already taken, like, everyone yeah, plays Everyone guitar. fucking plays guitar, I so fucking like, play guitar, and I'm horrible at it. So I picked up Have mandolin. Have you ever heard it of, stole my uh, soul, yeah. Dave Lee Roth and the uh, Bluegrass Van Halen? No. Stuff? Uh, That's kind of interesting. There's a Instead lot of, of uh, I might as well jump, it was I might as well skip. Bluegrass is like a very, like, so, so Bill Monroe is a very stickler on what bluegrass is, right? Bluegrass came with, um, they did a lot of slow waltzes, you know, in three time. Yeah. But then their fast stuff was, was choppy. Jungle beat. Right? So like choppy. So you got mandolin on off beat. Yeah. And then bass. Boom, 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 boom. boom. And then uh, this guy, I think Ricky Skaggs, if I'm getting that correct. On, you better, on because banjo. all of our listeners know. On banjo. The three finger pick, the banjo sound you know, like right now, that three finger picking sound, before Ricky Skaggs, they just strummed a banjo. You mean where if you and hear it, you got to keep running? Yes. Okay. That banjo. Like, yeah, you know, you're about to get ready too. And before that, it was just like strummed. It was, a cool, it was just a terrible instrument. And Ricky Skaggs made something out of it. And like uh, like Andy from The Office. Applied it to Blue Guys, and that's the sound you know. So there's a lot of like picking on series. Where they do like bluegrass versions of pop songs and stuff. It's very oh cool. my gosh! Oh well, hell yeah! I've heard a couple bands like that. They like mm-hmm. one a famous one was like Thunderstruck and bluegrass. Yeah, yeah. Off YouTube that. You can do anything. The other day, I, I was on the YouTube, of course, and I saw you uh, on YouTube. Thing about John Five, if you know who that is, he used to be from Marilyn Manson. I really it was more into Rob John Zombie. Four. Anyway, uh, he. Got his start oh, from watching a That's kid play saying. banjo on hee haw. Sh- like some fourteen-year-old kid, yeah. He was hee haw was a western variety show. Familiar, right? western country bit. variety show. Okay, yeah. And uh, they had Woody's r- Roundup on it. Okay, and oh, that was Woody from Toy Story. So this John Five character saw uh, this fourteen-year-old kid playing banjo on there, and he was. He was so amazed by it, but that's where. And I mean, now he's one of the most, uh, most amazing guitar players ever. But he he got a oh. start from watching the guy play banjo. Yeah, and and this is who, who what band again? A metal band, right? You said. 
No, no, uh, the, there's like bluegrass bands that. No, what was the guitarist? Man John Manson. Five. From Maryland, Maryland. 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 Metal. Is it metal? And Rob's. Well, he currently. What's yeah, the, Rob Zombie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty metal. I don't know the better the genre of them. They're, they're pretty unique, I guess. It's hard to show. Marilyn Manson, I wouldn't say is very unique. You know, I would say he's kind of like a straight up stand, don't know like the... middle road guy. I mean, like uh, music. So I um... no musically too. Yeah, just right in the middle, kind of a poppy kind of guy. I don't know. Dope show. Sure. I've never really. I don't know if I've ever heard a Marilyn Manson song. How have you but never you heard? Have. Of you know, probably have. You don't care because it's not on the radio. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Nigga. I don't know. Okay, sorry. Excuse <laughs> me. I'm sorry that I don't. Excuse me. So, no, I mean, don't it, worry it, about it. Like I said, there's, not, there's connections not, between bluegrass. He was a gimmick. He wasn't incredibly okay. talented. No, yeah, it, so. I've seen I've seen the um, interviews where they it. have a, the whole the troupe of um, Madonna, Wayne Gacy. I'm just saying, and, um, right, you Madison. should know yeah. that all of our viewers hate you now. So all right, all right, that's should fine. Probably stop because talking why? Because he doesn't know Marilyn Manson. Around I'm the sorry, viewers. Oh, he's I still he's care joking. All right, this is sarcasm at its best. So, get it while it's hot. So there are a lot of. Do any ties. of our viewers like actually said, like wrote, Marilyn Manson? I wrote an essay between the connection of bluegrass and techno, and bluegrass and and uh, like say hard metal and all that, right? Like, a lot of metal music is like just very like intricate playing. Yeah. Bluegrass is a lot of just running around. Yeah. Oh yeah. Soloing, just running grass around. Grass, grass. It's a lot of, that of style? playing. Like bluegrass is very musician's music of like. Well, holy cow! That's why the Van Halen bluegrass and thing works. Yeah. 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 So, you throw some distortion on the guys, boom, you like him. Well, like, very you know the stuff. band uh, Trampled by Turtles? Mm-hmm. They, they can call themselves Thrash Grass. Because they like I've never heard that. We play um, Cody and... Who is it? Oh, yeah. Very much. Well, you know their song, Wait So Long. What's the one that... There's another one on YouTube, the bluegrass version of Thunderstruck. Yeah, I said that earlier. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that stuff translates amazingly. It does. It translates. But now these are all like say, so we have far, you do another one? These are so far all originals and they're not Oh really, hell yeah. They're not really bluegrassy, are they? What? I don't know. I don't think very bluegrassy. These like purple like wine. No. Like, purple like wine was just like a, like a bluesy like or something. It was like a bluesy like gay butt sex. Yeah. I'm not yeah. Yeah. a person that's, that's in the I, 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 I was getting plowed in the ass. Yeah, I, I, I and I could tell. I felt like I, I was getting I plowed. Hate all oh, but I did I did a couple poppers before so it was loose. It was good. I believe it. You look like you're loose. Meditation, oh. new age shit. Oh, dude. I can't stand any of that. Yoga ain't for the girls. But, uh, that's yeah, pretty that's much nice. what I felt like when you were playing that. Yeah. It was just like a totally, I, know, I hate of... to say it, zen experience. Hey, I love Because I'm not about yeah. that, but it was, and it was amazing. I'm more all, like, all about In my own world. I too much about fucking um, loved it. Japanese culture, but... Zen seems like a cool idea. Yeah, I know all of our Japanese listeners hate you now because you don't fucking understand it. I'm, I'm just ignorant. God damn it. I'm not hateful. God damn That's it, true. Trevor. We're losing all of our fan base now. We already <laughs> had because we've so, released all these. So I, I tend to like, I think playing music, but you tend to like Jack find, off a lot. Find yeah, a, that's normal. Find a style and you say you have oh. the same strumming pattern and you do kind of the same thing all the time. Yeah, because that's usually because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, so by the way, Mr. Camper and Jenny Lynn, that last song. I wanted to tell the story about it. Not the last couple. song. You did Purple... Oh, I haven't done it. You haven't even done it. That's why I'm okay. saying, do you want to do the next one? Purple Like Wine was, was just a regular old song. Yeah, that's what I'm know. saying. You want Johnny, to do another one? Johnny, I was going to tell the story for that. Johnny is, I guess, story too. Wait, so are you doing um, Johnny next or the other Johnny. one? Johnny. Okay. And then I'll do Mr. Camper. So Johnny <laughs> is about... Uh, I wrote it with the intention of changing up the, the picking style, hopefully. Um, but then you got lazy and you're I'm like, I'm gonna screw. open a can of worms. Uh, Not in my apartment. Does anyone disgusting. out here know that he is also a comedian? I don't know. I didn't get paid for being I think for you doing did. those shows. Yeah. I, did. I did. I'm a professional comedian. Yeah. Sweet. I gave you Dorothy. Yeah. You, I no, you did. Yeah. He did. Not a dick. He did. He did. Besides he being gave me a fair cut. Yeah. An amazing musician. Yeah, we, we did get paid. Our guest I'm a tonight. I was gonna say I'm not a comedian because I didn't get it, but I do. Trevor Northwell is a comedian. I'm working on my third set I've ever done. Right. Well, we can talk about that at a different time. I just this is North. Just Soul. in case it didn't happen, I had to throw it out there. Um, uh, if you go to uh, Rondo Vision, 
Rondo Vision something on YouTube has a recording of the first comedy stand-up I did on St. Patrick's Day two, yeah, two Patty's years Day. ago. Yeah, that was fucked. Maybe three. Years. Nick Chapman before was the leprechaun drunk as fuck. Yes, he was. <laughs> And yeah, that's up on YouTube is a is a video of, of my first stand up ever. We'll talk about There's that some other laughs. time. Yeah, well, I I gave you some pity ones. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, there was a couple. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it was great. So this was. This is Johnny. To, yep. This was trying to switch up like picking styles and stuff. Do a little different. I wrote a song, it's not finished, like, not even a minute. Shut up, though, it's good. Shut up. I'm not going to attempt to play it. Oh, not this one. I so I, I was writing a song. I, I hate, I hate that one. Connor O'Burst. What the fuck? Sean. Connor O'Burst, man. Um, bright just Eyes. Bright Eyes. Oh, bright Eyes okay. is just not my shit. And so I, like... <laughs> my brother. I, I, re oh, <laughs> I recently wrote this song, and I'm like, this is, like, this is my take on Bright Eyes, and it's just this rambling nonsense. Like the lyric, like just I just. And, uh, hey, you're on a you're on a plane, and you're like doing something, yeah. and you're fucking and like, like, and, like this is happening. It's your bodies. birthday, and like <laughs> things and stuff. I don't know, like it's just yeah, like it's just very like descriptive. Like I don't know what about I don't know. I, I haven't pegged down why I don't like bright eyes and kind of reverse, but 
I just I, don't. One of it, I think it was like a song that was like "Lover, I Don't Have to Love." That was a pretty fucking decent song. I'm gonna give it a shot. You know, I would say that one. one if you do. That was a good one. So that some of these, like, like, so I got the song that I'm writing, and I'm like, I'm still, I'm gonna write this like. Bright Eyes song, you know, that's what I was kind of like trying to ramble on about. Back when you were like, North Soul's gonna go mainstream. Well, no, like, no, just for my like, own, like, get it out of my head kind of thing. And just do it to do it so it's out of my head. Yeah, yeah. like, so, just to like, be like, yeah, like, fuck Bright Eyes, I can do that shit, you know? Well, or and, even so, like, yeah, it's like a sense, like, I mean, I'm not a songwriter, fuck me. But it's like, I have like stuff in my head that it's just like, Unless I get it out and it's out of my head, then like yeah. once I do it, I'm like, that's how it's supposed to sound. Like listen, that's how it's do it. It's stuck in your head, and then it's just there. Yeah, that's fine. Like this, like one of the, like the words that are like jumping with a two foot corporate greed, and the ladies on the avenue looking for a steal. It's like it doesn't really make sense to another, but maybe. I mean, the song sounded perfectly fine to us, you dick. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it just doesn't make sense to me, I guess. I well, know. it's like, this was two dudes. That, Way to go, dude. Yeah, heard that heard you. After I, like, totally, totally idolize you, you have to bring it to my attention. That you're a fucking dick and a dumb you, shit. That you uh, pulled the wool over my eyes. What do you mean? No, 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 that wasn't one that I was, like, faking. Ever. This one I, like, really wrote, you know. Well, no, no, but I was just saying, it's like, we've been to your shows before, and this is the first time we heard that one, and you saw, like, oh, okay. and they would see in the video, too, it's like, both of both of us were, like, the whole time, we're just like, so, oh, fuck this yeah. Is, these are, these are ones North Soul has never played. Like, yeah. Both of those. First no, experience. Purple Like Wine. Purple Like Wine was uh, one we played. That's well, right. yeah. Johnny's yeah. not. And, and are you doing one more? Let's do another one real quick. One more? All right. One more, Mr. Yeah, Cam- yeah, Mr. you're Mr. Thingy and thing. Mr. Camper and Jenny Lynn. That's the story. Dayman time. and Nightman. So it it, it started. It, this was a um, a couple, Mr. Camper and Jenny are, Lynn. Is that an outer box? Yeah. Are you abusive to phones? Oh, I beat the shit out of phones. I actually am such as a fan of outer box. I have an outer box around my dick. For if, how much I beat the shit out of. Is your dick shaped like a phone, or do they make different? That, custom. Custom ones, it, it wasn't. I, you heard the whole uh, penguin thing, right? Uh, no. Why do penguins penguins have flat dicks? To fit you in an otter box. Like <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was to fit in an otter box, well, like your box vagina. That's why. Yeah. Both it's good. permanently permanently modded. <laughs> yes. I'm a grown man. Them. I can do this. I have the capabilities. <laughs> <laughs> You're 30s though. You should be sexually active. Just not with your uncle under the table. Yes. <laughs> She's, yeah. just yeah. She's just mashing it down there. She's just mashing it. She's mashing it. I'll take sloppy seconds. <laughs> yes. Always sunny I references. I love it. Yes. Only up to season in December. So, but, um, well, all right, one more before I put this thing away. And yeah. Get quiet. Time, cause it's, um, Mr. Camp One more, we'll make some shitty fucking jokes, yeah. recap, and call it a night. So down. Um, Mr. Camper and Jenny Lynn is this, it's a couple that keeps getting remarried and divorced. You know, you know they're like, they're like sick of each other, so they get divorced, and then they're Probably like, like the, uh, they just don't know any other way. It's like you just know my family. What the fuck? Yeah. It's just easier that way sometimes, or something. So I'm, I'm thinking of that song. Jolene. About the drink. Oh, fuck. Pimi Clara. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They go to yeah. cheat on each other and they just Yo. find each other. Yeah. 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 That's They're probably married and divorced billions of times. <laughs> Maybe right? I'll let um, you guys listen to this one. Can, can I tell you my alternate lyrics to that song really quick since mm-hmm. it's been brought up? Mm-hmm. I didn't think this would get brought up. That's great. So uh, my alternate lyrics are, if you like penis a lot, uh, and you can handle some pain. <laughs> If you're not into yoga, then you might have to strain. Ooh. If you like making love at midnight <laughs> to a dude in a cape, then I'm the man that you're after. Write to me and escape. <laughs> it's pretty fucking great. That's what working fucking 12 hour shifts will do for you. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it was fucking great. Just as beautiful as that fucking song. Like, it's such a cheating couple song. 
Yes. I, I rewrote the, uh, at, at, at my isolation job at, uh, the Declaration I, of Independence? No, I rewrote... Uh, <laughs> the Emancipation Proclamation? No. Uh, Abraham Lincoln vs. the Vampires? No. You had to rewrite that one? I was going to say, I or? just First died in one. your arms last night. Is that the, I'm just dying in your arms tonight? And I just died in your arms last No, night? I mean, given where we work, in my mind it turned into, I just died in your arms last night, it must have been the knife in my back. Oh, there's a lot of backstabbing drama at our place. That you like, I get it, but you probably don't understand. We can, we can definitely. You can tell me about it off camera Either, because I, I no, we, we've had to edit these before because we sometimes go on he rants. Goes on rants. Yes, yeah. about our workplace. He says we, but <laughs> but really, you know, oh. well, I'm the one drinking. <laughs> yeah. it's, this is the devil here. That's right. Yes. I'm only I'm only the free agent demon. Simply, this is the devil here, and, you, and your soul yeah. is mine. <laughs> but one more so, song, so we, figured, we figured. Um, I was we was talking about so North Soul, Wait. right? What's the op- South Body? Yeah. South Body is that the opposite of North Soul? That's like South Body Beach thing. It's like a. It's, like it's a, a thing. South Body is a thing. South Body Beach. Yeah. Weird. So that's the opposite of North Soul. So you're supposed to, you're supposed to be. Like a bushy, hairy, fat wow. bitch. Let me, I guess. I don't know. Holy cow, that's me. <laughs> South Body <laughs> Beach? Nor Soul. He's your Hello, mascot. The bushy, hairy, fucking... He's your mascot. Hell yeah. You know what you need oh, is like um one of those hats like that like has like the bushy up top and like the earmuffs mm-hmm. and some gloves. And your gloves should just say like North Soul yeah. or something like that. You know Only, what I thought of the other day that made me mascot. Hat. But kind of happy, but sad, but I just kind of... You just thought about your like, life. Well, this is tranquil. Is, yeah, me too. I just realized I'm the, I'm the Tommy Wissa of our group. Because um, you're the oldest? And bizarrest. And, and the slowest. <laughs> and slowest. And... Tommy Wise out. And, uh... To be fair, yeah. wait, so, so does that make me... And, uh... I pipe dreamer. Yes. And I just I'm but like, so, oh my gosh, I'm that guy. So am I Mark? Mm-hmm. Oh hi Mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who am I in the group? You're fucking Trevor, Trevor Norso. Okay. Just shut the fuck up. Sounds good. Okay. Why are you here? It's cause to, to, to play one more fucking more song? Just Mr. play Gabriel, your fu- Mr. Gabriel and Ginny Lynn just keep fucking getting married and divorced and they like keep going back and forth with the relationship and it's just it is what it is. And this is about them. It's a Wisconsin lifestyle. Took a long, long week to get there. I couldn't turn back now. Besides, the roads and the streets would all just leave your door anyhow. I know we've been through all of this before. But here again, we stand here once more. This time, this stay it'll be. say something right now. The fact that you stopped. I feel like have you seen that on YouTube that uh, golden retriever that's listening to music? The guy's playing music and the golden retriever's just like and every time he stops the golden retriever's like and then he plays some more music and he, the dog's like I feel like that right now. 
I'm just so oh, yeah. into this. Yeah, but so yes, yeah. when you stop, no, yeah. I'm like, oh, it's, no, it's, so, it's, so it's far it's great. Then you play again, and I'm like, Dude, so definitely, definitely know the feel, man. Fucking no one, no one <laughs> wants to show weird. in. Like I said, this is not no my thing, but you were just so fucking good at it. That um, well, and I have some fucking room to grow for shit. Like, I, I, I definitely know, like, our live shows, like, they're oftentimes where we're. Um, a lot of time in between songs, and and that feeling is there. You know, everyone's like, it's a "Fucking nice song," you know. So you know, it's something to work on, definitely. And you're right. Hey, Trevor. It's a thing. But Trevor. I figured. Shut up and play for me. You start over. <laughs> yeah, just whip your dick out. I couldn't turn back now. Beside the roads and the streets, it would all just. Great shit. Still fun. That was good. This. Oh, it's still. F- is why we're doing this. I love doing the podcast thing. Hell yeah. I'm very thankful you guys did that. And let me play. Well, yeah. Um, and and only. Damn it, Mr. Kidman. Two takes and I still missed. Whatever. Oh, dude, we were in the fucking moment though. We were wow. fucking. We were fucking this, this just is, this taking is why it I in. Love this. This whole new idea. Is, this is why I love it. I can I can just tell right now. This is this is the reason. Because it's shit like this. I th- have you ever thought your band needs like a washboard guy? I think you could. This is Bill. Um, as long as it's not a washboard stomach. In fact, no. You uh, clearly I was, got rhythm. That was good. Like, yeah, I, I. I like. I can't help it nowadays. Like now that I have this wedding hey, ring. Video games. He played that. Fucking. If guitar I'm, hero. If I may, guitar hero um, or the other one. Called Piss Break. Oh, yeah. No. I can't help it now that I have this wedding ring and it just, like, yeah. hits shit. I fucking always have to do that now. You guys. Fucking just got to witness two oh. new Nor Soul songs. Pretty fucking top notch. That was an experience. That was great. Like, I have to say, a bit of a disclaimer, technically, not all wine is purple. The 
30th anniversary of Final Fantasy wine is not purple. But purple like wine, you got to hear, which is one of their regulars. They play a lot. It is so good. Um, like you said, there's at least three dates coming up for them. I'm excited for the Elkhart Late one. See, the ones that are good is when uh, Trevor's mouth is open and his fingers are moving. And then Travis is there doing the same thing with him. Yeah, those are the good ones. That's usually when their songs are pretty good. When they're both doing the things at the same time. And we'll, like, we can do this again with Travis. I don't know, we might have to make a little bit more space and figure some shit out, but no, like, what, Travis's harmony, too, with him? Ooh, the vocal harmonies. That's what we focus on. Ugh. Yeah, we were talking about how shitty they were. Did you hear that or no? Just kidding. Just kidding. Ha ha ha. A little bit of construction in here. Yeah, or maybe we'll, we'll increase the the ceiling or something. No, maybe. not that. We uh, if we need wait, to make. Oh wait, what's what's over there? We can push the wall back. Well, but I I don't want to move my Fetty Wap, wrap snacks chip bag. That's literally a bag of chips, that I framed because it has Fetty Wap, because it's next to my, uh. In the kitchen cooking pies with my baby. Hey, Trevor, that's where I got my name from. 1738. Uh, yes! Yeah. I gave him that nickname because I fucking love the fucking song. Right there. Is it Fetty Wap, right? Yeah. Well, because he's part I of the... I remember the... Yeah. 1738. I mean, I'm drinking it. I'm drinking it. He did it. that. And oh my gosh, did I hate it. Yeah. I, I played I did Trap like Queen till my friends fucking wanting to kill me. I have a major, then major finally, affinity like, to modern rap. Of everyone at my... Job, I just couldn't get away from it, so I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Okay, that's. But fuck we're it. gonna do it. But it fuck it. Thing. Where are you going? I might be here. A drink. I was gonna say we have to talk to you a little bit more. Please, please do. We do need to wrap this up soon. Yeah. We got about like. No, but I. You, Fifteen minutes or so. Can't leave a pint unfinished. It's the English Wait, way. Wait, you have four more. I'm actually on my last I'm beer. I'm be here, but. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, you just have to take them home. You just take them fucking home. That's that's part of the 1730 uh, like bag. nation. 1730 nation believes that everybody needs the green room experience. Yeah, I'm. I am actually need to relax. Need to chill. You're right. I am. I don't know where you came from. What you were doing before you got here today. I'm assuming work or something. Dude, you should have seen it. I had to pull him okay. away from three so guys. It's nice to be able to relax. With away from guys. three guys. Yeah, he was fucking working them hard. Yeah, it was crazy. I was well, like, I dude, to pull you away from more guys than that. <laughs> well, right. And then you pulled me away from them, and I had to pull him away. I was like, this yeah. is nothing to me, because I can get What do you, I don't even know. What do you do? Um, I bake bread. Uh, I was going to say, where? Mancino's Pizza and Grand House. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So that you're, that's where you're at? Yeah, I bake, oh. I, I do that. I um, am uh, Mancino's Pizza and Grand House. Fucking go there because great fucking food. Yeah. And then I, uh, Not even like a. Pl- I actually do love the fuck out of Mancino, so. Then I do I'm gonna have to stuff. ask you something about that later. And then I, I, I try can't to... do it on camera. Ooh. Yeah. Deal. You can't like can... how big your dick is. We'll talk shop. No. Um. No. So okay. So coworkers. So let's talk about. Hey. Cool. Let's talk a little bit about North Soul quick uh, while we wrap it up. Yeah, North Soul's fucking awesome. We so we, just, <laughs> I got it, you know, right? I mean, so no, I, no, don't you know say too. Much. If I didn't think, if I didn't think so, I wouldn't be part of it. Um, so you we, started. We did, the McDonald's, we did the McDonald's thing, and um, we're trying to do like a lot of commu- we're we're trying to do more than just shows. Like it's it's so like even if we're like a full time band or something, which like we're not. Um, but even if you were, you still like don't have all your days occupied with shows and whatever and, and songwriting. And there's a lot that goes into it, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, you've been in a band. There's a lot that a goes into it. highly unsuccessful one? Yes, I was in one. Well, there's not so true, much behind-the-scenes work, so there's a lot of work into it. But you still have the time where we should all make time to give back and stuff, right? So that's like a big... We've been trying to do a lot of that, and there's a lot of that involved. So with the McDonald's. So not show only do we, yeah, not only do we have upcoming shows, but we have a lot of like upcoming like community events that we try to do. So if you follow the Facebook, so humble North Soul Wisconsin. The Facebook is like what we're most active on, trying to get more. Because you can't fucking go on Spotify and listen to you no, fucks. No, not yet. Well, not yet. you could. I, I just don't get. I don't get it yet. You know, I'm working on the whole. Uh, 
recordings. I, like, I don't... Um, I understand that I, if I put a little time and research into it, I could probably... Well, if you, you give me a recording, sure. I'll put you on Spotify. Well, to be fair, if, if we yeah. put this recording yeah. as a podcast well, you, on Spotify, you, 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 you Nate, just, you don't have Nate one. if we start no, this... I don't even have Nate, if uh, we... No, I think I have, like, created one, actually. Nate? But what? I don't, I don't use it. Nate? No, no, no. I mean, an actual recording. No, no recording. See if you if no. you like I said if you actually got me an actual Nate, no, we no. we have three songs of him right now yeah, that we can do I, I podcast on that. Spotify. I get it. I get it. This, so, this is awesome. This I'm is really fucking real. You guys are the fucking best. Seventeen thirty nation. Seventeen seventeen thirty nation. Yes. Yeah. Nailed it. And this is so much fun.